What's up there YouTube? This show is Today Like an OG and today I have a tutorial for you for it's basically an updated version of my last one. I think it's like a month and a half ago for my league league slash Baron replays video slash camera tool camera tool slash rotation for Bliso. So this is a whole updated version. And I wanna say before I start off is sorry for not uploading for a, a few weeks. <coughs> sorry for not uploading for a few weeks. Uh, I was sick, I had to do a bunch of school stuff, and also, I couldn't get any good footage because me and my friends were always tryharding, or there was a lot of, uh, basically cutouts with the audio and a lot of problems with the video also. And for, uh, fourth of all, I wanted to make a montage for you guys, which kind of sucked because a lot of it was on LOL Replay, and I couldn't use LOL Replay, well, I could use LOL Replay, but after I updated it, I couldn't use any of the replays after that. I know you could set it back to the uh, 5.2, which I had all the replays on, but that one did not work for me. Like when I opened it up, I couldn't go into my recordings. And so that's basically it. And quick warning, I want to tell you guys is I'm not good at these tutorials. Like I mentioned them a lot. I really suck at making tutorials. And third of all, there's going to be, a, uh, second of all, uh, there's going to be like a, uh, a stuttering because I don't have a script or anything. I'm going off the top of my head. And third, but not least, uh, OBS is recording this at 10 frames, but uh, I checked the, on my end it looks perfectly fine, but when I check the footage it looks alright for me, but just bear with it, because you guys are going to get a whole new replay systems and camera tool, so just be happy about that at least. And also all the links to the programs, uh, to all the things you need and the tool will be in the description. So we're just going to go into, I believe, so the first replace is Baron Replace. This is the one I'm using at the moment, and it looks awesome. Like, when I updated it, and I saw this, I was like, oh my god, it's so sexy. And check it out. This Baron right here is actually right there. Like, when you load up the program, it's, like, really right there. So it's not just a gray box. You also have Baron right there for Baron Replace. So I love this program at the moment because it works for me. But... Just mentioning in the future, a lot of these programs might not work for you, and might do, so just be wary of that. Don't get too mad if it doesn't work, just try your best with what you got, that's what I did for a good while. So yeah. So on to the next one, which hates a lot of people, but loves some people, or basically the main YouTubers for like some apparent reason for League Replays, is, or yeah, League Replays is this one, Law Replays, or League Replays, whichever one you want to call it. Basically, this program already has a built-in camera tool already. You can just, if you, it works for you and you know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, all you do is right click, you hold right click, and then you turn your camera on wherever you want to do. And I think there's a few keyframe options. I don't know how to, how to work with those. Uh, I was too lazy to figure it out because I was still recording at the time. But yep, if you want to download it, it's right here. And also for Baron replays, if you download it, you also have install a few stuff to give, put links in there for you, which I won't be putting down because once you get to here. Uh, you should just click these when you get here. All right, but onto the third one, which was developed by Skin Spotlights. Everyone's like praising these people, or praising these guys, because uh, this is a third replay system that works for a lot of people lately. It does not work for me, but a lot of people it does. Let's just say that. This is why I give you guys three, just in case you need the other options. So they do the patch notes and important stuff, like they do with. Law replays and Baron replays. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. I guess the mailman's walking by at the moment. Or it could be a murderer coming to get me. I don't know. But we're, uh, if you want to look to how to download this, is you just go scroll all the way down, and then you get experimental version three, and then it also has the other download option right here, then experimental version two. Then if you have any problems, I guess I think these will help you out, and somewhere on the top side. I won't go into depth with that because I tried fixing it myself and I couldn't even understand it because I was kind of dumb and lazy at the time too. But now we're going to get into the camera tool which is really interesting. It looks really nice also. So you'll get to see it when I load it up. I need to scroll all the way up. It's by Skin Spotlights and if you guys don't know who these guys are, I should have said that on the last one also. If you guys don't know who Skin Spotlights are but you've seen this logo, you've probably seen some of their videos. But they do, obviously, skin spotlights where they show off what the skin looks like. And they do a little cinematic of it, like um, going around it, seeing what the abilities do and whatsoever. But if you want to know how to download this and you want, if you want to see how the program works, there's a couple tabs that uh, show you what they did. And also there's like one tab that, or there's a few videos what they did here. 
And where is the... Oh, there it is. I passed by it. There, uh, right there. So before uh, before you download this program, you're going to need the Network Framework uh, 4.2. Uh, no, 4.0, not 4.2. Need 4.5. Well, yeah, I just... I just uh, know that you need a network uh, net framework, which I'll leave the link in the description, obviously. And also, they have the patch 5.3 and 5.4, which is the one you're gonna be downloading at the moment, uh, right now. Or if you're trying to do some camera stuff with the 5.2, you download this one. And also, this is their channel. If you haven't seen it whatsoever, let's just get in the spotlights. And also, if you don't know what the camera tool is, it's basically like if you ever watch Peace Pigeon and Uber Danger, go watch them right now you know what I'm talking about camera rotation or cinematics and then come back here and you'll see the rest of the tutorial so we're done with that and now we're gonna get into the program which technically the only program I'm gonna be using is band replays because that one works for me and all the other programs hate me with a uh, with passion so when you open Baron replays and see look there's Baron right there it looks awesome <laughs> uh, so this is where you see your replay system if you don't know how to set it up you go, whoops, that's not it. That's to the replace. You need to go into settings. So when you go to settings, you need to do your League of Legends.exe and we're going to save the pass. This movie thing, uh, it goes to the team with the camera. I have no idea what that means. I tried to look it up and I still don't know what it is. But once this is open, you can play a couple games. It will automatically record for you and it will pop up a little message is saying it was successfully recorded. Note, don't close barren replays whatsoever while it's recording like if you want to know if it's recording at the moment just put your mouse over here and it will tell you uh, recording the game and you got to give it like a minute or two for it to finish recording and then you can go on to your next game so next up is the camera tool and note uh, just quick note when you open this make sure you run as administrator I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't run as administrator because it just starts to trip out hold up give it a second also, if you want to know what this program is, right here for these, it's called Fences. I use it to organize my stuff. But at the moment, it's not organized because I kind of messed up. It should be popping up a message any second now. Scanning for a game. I don't have a game loaded up whatsoever. I did this so I could show you guys the error message that pops up. Apparently, I need to have a game open before I do that. Alright, but hypothetically, if I had a, a game open right now, which I'll have in a few minutes, uh, when you open this, don't double click it. You have to right click it and go run it as administrator unless before it goes stupid. It goes completely dumb. You can't do anything with the camera whatsoever. And you're going to be wasting your time trying to figure out, oh, uh, how come it's not working? But yeah, just run it as administrator and it should be totally fine. So give me a minute. I'm going to go load up a quick game for you guys so I can show you how the camera tool works. So BRB. So I'm back. I have a game loaded. It's the one with the Mordekaiser one. And as you can tell, we're getting uh, who's getting ulti? Oh, the enemy team's getting ulti. I could tell because this is my this is my buddy right here, Mongbo916. Shout out to the team. Woohoo! <laughs> but now um, we're gonna get into the the camera tool, and I can see Baron's claw. No, that not claw. Penis-looking head. Ah, dude, that actually does look like a dick with a mouth. <laughs> I'm getting off track. I'm gonna go to the tool now. Um, so when you open up the tool, I just double clicked it. Well, that gives me a reason to show you guys what the error message looks like. Give me a second. Load up camera tool and I, sh I will show them that I was not lying about the error message. Ah, there, see, I told you guys right there. It shows up every error if you don't run as administrator and it does it again because it hates you. Also, now we're just gonna go back to it. Right click it, run as administrator, you should get a pop up. That's why the screen looks all dark all of a sudden. And pressing yes. And then when you have it up, which it should be popping up any second now. Okay, there it is. And when you see it, it should be scanning for your game, which it should be this one right here. If you get an error while scanning for game, I don't know how to fix it. This is my first time. Well, not my first time, but this that would be the first time I ever known that it didn't load up like all these green. So when you get into this, you want to go into your options. Don't click these whatsoever. Well, if you want to cl click uh, click the donate one, you can if you want to, but it'll pop up something for on your Google Chrome or whatever program you're using. But first of all, you want to go into your options, and then just in case you want to shut up, uh, you want to set up. I said shut up for like no reason. Set up the restore defaults just in case. Mine's on F3. 
and then you want to go to camera mode, which changes it to first person, and this is how you know it works. And if you want to use the camera, it's a little bit laggy as you can tell because the whole camera thing. But I'm going to move it there. I'm moving it with my mouse. All you do is left click and you hold it and then you move. And if you want to know how to get rid of your mouse, just leave it there for a few seconds and then it just disappears. But if you want to move the camera, you use your numpad. If you don't have a numpad, then I don't know what will happen. But if you... Oh, am I out of the place now? I'm going to keep moving real quick. Gonna move to a section where I don't know how to speed up. I forgot how to do that option, but I know there's a speed up button somewhere. I'll tell you guys in the description if you're asked. But you move it with four to move it left to right, four and six. If you want to move forward and back, it's eight and two, and then five is to basically zoom out, and then seven is to turn to the right, like turn the camera position to the right, and then nine is to turn it to the left, which I have no idea why it's like that for me. And then one is to go down, okay? And then three is to go up. I'm gonna see what zero does. Okay, for some reason zero started the game. Alright, pause, play, pause. Alright, there. So it started ga the game for me for like no apparent reason. So now we're gonna, if you wanna know how to do the awesome cinematics or whatsoever, or you could just do it like this if you want to. Uh, I don't know, it's up to you. For me, I think this will be a little bit more easier, not that one. You want to go into your keyframe place, and then you want to set up a key for adding keyframes. So mine's for F2, and then to clear frames is F2. I know that's kind of risky, but I know what I'm doing. And also, here's the cool part. If you want to change the black background, you could go to options right here, and go to sky control. And you can change this to any color you want to chroma key it. And look at that, it's green, a really bright green, and you can chroma key it real easily. Or there's other colors if you want, like uh, blue or <coughs> excuse me, this color blue or yeah, whatever. So turning that off. The other option is to disable terrain, which everyone it makes it look like everyone's floating, and it looks like there's an underground city with these tubes. But I'm gonna turn that back on to disable HUD. You sure already know what that is? Announcer, same thing, and disable particle. I don't know what this is. Particle sim. I have no idea what that means at all, but I'm going to turn off the HUD because it looks much nicer and I don't need to see those stupid bars when I'm doing my keyframe. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do the keyframes. So I'm going to get into, I'm going to turn my camera so I could, I'm not wholly used to this whole camera thing. I don't know how high up I am right now. All right. So I'm going to turn it like so, I'm going to, going to look down. Alright, if you could hear the clicking, it's because I bought a new keyboard. Uh, I got the Razer Ultimate, uh, the Razer Ultimate 2014 version, and I love it at the moment. So if you hear clicking, that's my keyboard. So I turn that. I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit. I'm gonna put a keyframe. I'm gonna press F1, and you see your keyframe in here. First keyframe. You can also change the, the, I guess the the speed or the F of. Well, you could do like a little advanced settings with it. Let's just say that. So, I got my first keyframe right there, and then I'm going to move around. I can't remember which buttons to turn my camera. Okay, it's 9. So, I'm going to set one right here, and then I'm going to set one. I'm turning the camera the wrong way. And then I'm going to set one right here. And if I believe so, I'm going to go back into the program. I can't remember which one is that. Okay, so you want to go down here and set up the activate camera which shows you a little quick run through of your frames or your keyframes mine's on f4 so we're gonna go look at what mine looks like now and it's now locked into my mouse perfect i don't know how that happens so i'm gonna press f4 and look at that look at that it's so dang beautiful i'm crying but i'm a man so i cry out of my dig what all right so that's basically it i hope you guys uh enjoyed the tutorial and yeah, I tried my best. Uh, ho hopefully, I explained a lot of it, uh, or explained enough of it for you guys, uh, for it to work for you guys. And also, I said, uh, like I'm pretty sure I said it like 30 times, 31 times, if you're counting the one I just said. So, yep. And yeah, that's a tutorial. Yay! Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment whatsoever. And and just message me on message me on. Or, yeah, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and etc. On Twitter, you could message me if it worked for you or not, or 
you want to comment saying, oh, it did not work, then I'll see what I could do. I'll see what I could do. I'm not 100% sure. I'll tell you the honest truth if I can't help you or not. So, yeah. Other than that, hope you guys have a nice day. And deuces. And I can't remember which one. I put my macros. It's... Uh... Nope. Nope. It's not a... Okay. It's... Okay. I'm using OBS. I don't have my macros set up for stop recording. So, now it's officially deuces.